vinyl done this one's not bad but this one since it's so scratched if I put vinyl on that one the vinyl will show through that it was scratched before so I'm gonna have to sand that one down this one doesn't look bad though it's pretty smooth I'll be able to put the vinyl just straight over on this one I know you're supposed to use plastic pry tools but we actually don't have any so I'm using this metal one all right I just got it popped off and first you just have to undo these clips here all right so I got these little clip out. So the next thing you got to do is pop this so you can get the controls out of this little panel here. Alright, just like that. You just have to pull let's see if I get focus, this part off of this. Alright, now that I got that panel out, I'm actually going to reconnect these to this because it's actually going to be a couple days before I actually get the vinyl. I just want to get these prepped just because. Just to get it early. So I'm actually going to keep these in here just so that I still have controls for when I'm driving around the next couple days. Just like that, and on to the next side. Actually, I just remembered, on this side, you have to take this piece off first. So, that's why that wasn't working. And it should just pop off just like that. Piece number two. The previous owner must have painted this one because it's not even the same original paint. This one looks really good. If I knew what to use for this one, I'd probably do it to both. But since I don't know what it is, I don't want to mismatch them. So I just decided to go with some wrap. It just sounds easier. And uh, I'm having a guy at my work that does all of our tint and everything for all the new cars. I'm having him do uh, the wrap work. I'm going to help him with it. But so that way it'll come out all super nice. Uh, today I'm going to go get my 350Z interior wrapped a little bit. I'm just doing the little door panel area and then the little piece in the trunk. Getting that done as well. Super classic. Right now I'm driving one of my works 2016 uh, Honda Accords. It's the touring model so it's like all the high end stuff. The vinyl wrap actually didn't work. Uh, let me show you why. If you look where it dips down right there, we weren't going to be able to get the vinyl right there, which wouldn't be a big deal on this one, but on this one, since it was so scratched before, it wasn't going to be able to get in there to cover up those scratches. And also, on the Z logo, I wanted to do this whole thing black with the Z logo red, and the vinyl wasn't going to, it wasn't going to look nice with that because he doesn't have a machine to cut the vinyl. So we were just cutting it ourselves with uh, just like X-Acto knife or whatever. So it actually wasn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is just actually just plastic lift these.
a pro at doing this, so I mean, obviously I'm probably not going to do everything 100% correctly. I mean, if you have any suggestions or any advice, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I'm always down for advice and uh, feedback and everything, but I'm by no means a pro at this, so be easy on me, guys. After letting it sit overnight, this is how they turned out. I like it. It looks really good. These other pieces down here, though, I think there's three more left. They need just quick touch-ups, and then they'll be good to go. Just did the final coat, and now I just have to wait for them to dry. Installing just the door panel pieces right now. Gonna have to do the Z logo later, because I still have to paint the Z logo red. Alright, so today I'm finishing up the uh, interior Plasti Dip video. Um, I was going to do the whole thing black with the Z logo red, but with Plasti Dip, when I... So I taped off the Z logo, painted this piece black, and then I taped this piece and tried to paint the Z red. The Z turned out really well, but when I peeled up that tape, it wanted to peel up the Plasti Dip. So I actually just decided to just do the whole thing black. I might try something different later, like do... Uh, real black paint here and then or just do actual paint instead of plastic dip because then it wouldn't want to peel it all off but yeah for now I'm just gonna leave it all black and I'm gonna install the rest of this piece Finally got it back all installed. That was a pain in the ass, by the way. Thanks for watching today's video on the uh, 350Z interior wrap. If you guys have any feedback or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hope to see you for the next one.